Hey, what's going on everybody? We're here. Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. And today, guys, we'll be starting a brand new Let's Play. As you guys can see on the screen, it is a Paper Mario the Origami King. So this game released today in the United States and I think yesterday for Australia and the rest of the world. But I decided to do this Let's Play because the last Mario Let's Play I did was uh, Mario Odyssey. And that did uh, pretty well on my channel. So I decided, huh. Let's do a Paper Mario game and see how it does. So let us get right into it. So personally, I haven't played any other, what's it called, Paper Mario games other than Sticker Star, Thousand Year Door, and I think that's all of them. And I did not complete them at all. I wasn't even close to. The closest I was, I think I got halfway through Sticker Star. And then a Thousand Year Door, I personally did not find entertaining, even though... People say that it's the best game in the series. Isn't this great, bro? Back on the road again together and heading to some kind of festival. Oh, this is amazing. Mario and Luigi on Luigi's go-kart for Mario Kart. That's amazing. What did the invitation say again? The Origami Festival? What's that going to be like? And I can't wait to say hello to Princess Peach. It's been a while. Dang. I like how every single Mario game starts with a festival. I think Galaxy started with a festival. Uh, what else? I think 3D World started with the festival. Yeah, it did. 3D World started with a festival. I think Paper Mario Color Splash started with a, with a festival. And I think the Mario and Luigi games usually started with, a, what's it called, a festival. Ooh, what the heck? Dang, just the color so far look amazing of this game and the graphics with the paper mache and everything. Here we are, Toad Town, and there's Peach's Castle. Where is everybody? Isn't it supposed to be a festival? Um, hello? Anybody here? That's a hammer shop right there. That'll be useful in the future. Ah, Luigi in the go-kart. I like how the go-kart is literally ten times Luigi's size. Where is everybody? You don't think we missed it, do you? Mario, check the invitation again. When were we supposed to be here? Uh, I think we were supposed to be here. Maybe we're early? You are invited to the or Origami Festival in a fabulous Toad Town. Date? Doesn't say the date. Peach. Well, it's the right day. You think they'll, they're will they still getting things ready? Maybe, but there's nobody here. Let's, uh, let's uh, go check uh, the castle. Maybe everyone's inside. Alright, let's go check and see. Maybe they're, they are. Because there's nobody there. I like how the car, look at that. It's like paper mache. That's actually sick. And I think that go-kart first appeared in Color Splash, which I think, uh, I don't even know. I think I bought the game digitally, but I never played uh, Color Splash on the Wii U. Because, like, all the bad reviews and stuff, because, like, it wasn't, like, uh, the game style wasn't original too. It's, um, original game styles, like, the Thousand Year Old Year Door, and then Mario, um, Paper Mario 64. Oh, I like how the castle, it reminds me, this castle opening reminds me of the uh, Ocarina of Time. How the castle opens. And there we go, uh, the castle, the Peach's Castle. I like how they always kept, like, usually the same design from Mario 64 of the castle, which is sick. Because that game is uh, pretty amazing and nostalgic, for sure. Alright, so now that we made it close to uh, the Peach's Castle, we could go inside and uh, see where everyone is. Here we are, Peach's Castle. I'm gonna park the car, okay? I don't want tip the valet. Alright. Damn, Luigi's a pro man. Look at this man knows how to drive and everything. This man got his license before I did. Alright, so now that we have Luigi gone, where do we head? It seems empty. Oh, there he is. Damn, he parked that fast. Sorry for the wait, bro. Let's uh, go see the princess. Sorry for the wait, man. You literally parked that less than five seconds. <gasps> no way. Luigi's behind us. This reminds me of Mario and Luigi, uh, the games. Dang. I kind of wish that they like remake or make a new one for the Switch. This literally feels like it. Damn, it's amazing. All right, so let us go inside. Hopefully, they do make one, even though the studio Alpha Dream is, uh, let's just say, uh, not doing so high. Look at the lighting. Dang. And look at, like, the paper mache on the doors and everything. It's kind of spooky in here, isn't it? And where is everybody? I, I didn't expect... I'd expect to see at least one toad by now. That is true, because there is literally 500 toads. Mama Mia, I forgot our gift in the cart. I'll just dash over and get it. All right, Luigi, go do that. 
Oh, that isn't good. <gasps> uh oh. Okay, I don't like that. But Luigi, you deal with this all the time with your Luigi's mansions. How how I'm gonna get in outside when the door is locked? Um, you don't. Don't worry, Mario. I know just what to do in a situation like this. You just gotta find Mario, right, Mario? Yeah, because that makes sense. <laughs> he's right there. Oh. <laughs> he sounds so disappointed afterwards. He's like, um, okay, I'm just gonna take a deep breath and go find the key to this door. That's what you do, right? Yeah, that's what exactly Mario would do. Tell Princess Peach I'll be right there if you see her first, okay? Bye-bye. Alrighty, so now Luigi has left us and now we are on our own uh, playing as Mario. That's so cool how like I love the attention to detail in this game so far. Where like when you jump the crease on Mario like it like curves in if that makes sense. Okay, is there anything around here? I don't think there is. I think we just have to uh, head straight. But I just want to make sure like the lighting. Look at that lighting. Damn, this game is honestly impressing me already and we haven't even started. Alright, so now that we made it to the end, let us go through the door and see uh, what's happened to uh, Mr. Luigi. Mario, is that you? Who is speaking? Uh, I don't like the way this is heading. The door is so freaky. I like how it's just complete darkness. Oh, it's Princess Peach. Hi, Peach. How you doing? You're uh, kind of different. How good to see you. Answer me this. Shouldn't the Mushroom Kingdom unfold and be refolded onto glory? Yes, of course. And what of those toads? Shouldn't they be silenced? Whoa, okay. I think we're getting a little bit too dark. For all eternity? No, not the toads, man. Even though they're super annoying to find in games. I see. Last question. Will you crease yourself and be reborn like me? Let's uh, say a uh, no and uh, let us get out of here before something bad happens. Wrong answer, right answer. It matters not. You, your replies are all paper thin. Is that an insult? That's because you're origami, huh? You think you're above us. Goodbye. <gasps> oh, no. Okay, damn. Mario literally just got thrown in a dungeon. Oh, who are those guys? Mario! <laughs> he has to clean himself before he gets up. Oh, he's gonna make a flashy entrance, huh? Are you here for the Origami Festival too? Yeah, we got scammed. The dungeon-themed waiting lounge is a huge upgrade from the last festival I attended. Very classy. What? What festival did you attend? I'm curious to see. You ain't seen Master Bowser anywhere, have you? Oh, Master Bowser's here? I was about to call him Master Bowser for some reason. It ain't like the big lug to leave us minions hanging out. A pub at a public event. Yeah, that is strange. Where is Bowser? He usually tries to steal the princess. Whoa, Mario, you're here? I'm a big uh, fan, or I mean, I've always wanted to battle you. Even if I get stomped, it would be an honor. Um, okay, then this man really just wants to get destroyed. Wow, this is all so exciting. First, I see Princess Peach, and now you. I gotta say, the princess was a little different than expected, less lifelike. Um, yeah, because it wasn't really her, or maybe it was, I'm not sure. Oh, the shy guys are like origami If I don't even know how to say, come with us. I don't think that's good. Yeah, what's next? I've never seen a toad before. Please tell me it's a toad. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's a toad where they're dragging you with. Not you. Ah, I hope you don't have to wait too long, Mario. I'll say hi to Toad for you. I don't think you're going to go to Toad's. I think we're in prison right now. All right. Mario's just waiting. Mario, is that you? Who is speaking to us? I need your help. I'm 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 in a very strange place. It's cramped and dark, almost like I'm in between dimensions or something. I'm not sure if I should be amazed or scared, but I'm kind of both. Okay, who are we talking to? If it's not too much trouble, I'd like to get out now, please. Is there any way you can help? I don't know. Alright. So let me explore. Can I open this door now? It's locked like I assumed. Alright. There's this, like, thing on the floor, but I don't think we could access it yet. So, let's go to the... Oh, there's a hammer here. Well, uh, conveniently, just, uh... 
There, you got it. Hammer. Conveniently, it was there, and I'm surprised that the minions didn't take it. Okay, so now that we have the hammer, we can break the crates, except that crate, obviously. Okay, ooh, we made our escape. Ooh, I forgot the coins. Are you leaving? It sounds like you're leaving. Please help me. Wait, how are you supposed to help? Well, okay. Um, I don't know how to help. Maybe we're supposed to hit this with a hammer? Oh, okay, we're supposed to go on it. What was that? Did something light up at your feet? Is it, ma is it a magical circle or magic circle? That's good. I think, I mean, I'm not really sure what you supposed to do with it. Can you try to use it somehow? Uh, sure. A thousand fold arms. What does this, what does that mean? One thousand fold arms. What the heck? Damn, Mario literally just gained his uh, muscle. Damn. That, that sounded good. Are your arms all big and foldy now? I've heard about this. I think those are called 1,000 fold arms. What the heck? Try feeling around a bit. Maybe you can help me escape from the strange dimension. Okay. It feels like the arms are off center and out of control. Maybe try pressing R to reset them. Okay, so let me you press that. Okay. Ooh, I could, I'm using the pro controller if I didn't mention this already. Move to the left. Uh, a little bit higher. Do you need to start over? Maybe pressing... Okay, maybe resetting the arms. Move to the left. That's what I'm doing. A little bit higher. A little to the right. Oh, we grabbed something. There we go. I almost hit my mic by doing that. Is yeah, I'm using the Pro Controller like I said earlier. Well, I'm free that... Got weird in between dimension. So I was using the pro controller and it's weird to use like motion controls on the pro uh, controller. Oh, was I just stuck in that wall? Yeah, you were. You were uh, stuck. You must be Mario. My name's Olivia. You probably like to know a lot more about me and why I was trapped like that, huh? Yeah, that would be good information. But I don't think we really have time for that. Maybe we should just get out of here. I think that sounds like a plan because we're like pretty much in prison. There's just one thing. I'm not exactly fleet of foot. Mind if I hitch a ride? Alright. I guess so. Oh, okay. Okay, so now that we have that, I don't think there's anywhere to go except that opening. Yeah. Okay, so I guess we're gonna go to, to this area that we found earlier. You know, I feel like I just had a pretty good idea. What's that idea? I don't know if they always be good ideas, but I'm always happy to share them with you. Why don't you try pressing X to see if you're stuck, and I'll see if I could think of something useful. Who knows, maybe we'll get to know each other and make a great team. Is that how these things go? Um, yeah, that's how things go. But I think this is gonna feel like Naviance from The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, where it's gonna be like, hey you, hey you! Every like five seconds. Okay, I'm getting my bearings. I think we might be in the castle dungeon. All right, that sounds like a good uh, uh, hypothesis. Dungeons smell like this place smells, right? I don't know. I've never been in a dungeon, but Mario has. He's been through a lot. Hey, knock it off! Ow, ow, what is happening here? Well, let me just break the crates to, see, uh, to get the coins because I want to get that. Seriously, do you know who I am? It sounds like Bowser. It is Bowser. He's folded. I can see what you're about to do to my minions, and I order you to cut it out. What are you doing to the minions? Oh, snap. That looks like a Koopa Troopa. And the, those are the shy guys. What are they doing? They're folding him. Oh, did they just kill him? No, they turned them into paper mache. That's so dark. Holy cow, this game is dark. Not gonna lie at all. What did you see? Nothing terrifying, I hope. Uh, yeah, we saw something terrifying. That was the last of them. What the heck? All the minions that we met with when we fell in the dungeon are gone. Except for the mustached one. Yeah, that was your first mistake. You should have brought us with uh, the first crowd. Okay, maybe I have time to explain one last thing. Those stiff-looking guys are called folded soldiers. Fold. I don't want to alarm you, but they're unbelievably dangerous. I think we should try to avoid them. Yeah, sounds like a plan. What do you think they meant by that? Well, okay, I pressed A by accident. My bad. I feel bad. 
But it's fine. Uh, let us go help out Bowser and see what's going on. Because I think Bowser is in need of a little bit of helping at the moment. So let us go talk to him. What's up? Mario, you're here too? Well, what are you waiting for? Get me down from this thing. Even you know this is no way to treat royalty. <laughs> yeah, I don't think yeah, it is. Royalty? Oh, nice to meet you. Is everyone in your kingdom also a face? <laughs> Damn, shots fired. I've got a b body too. Those folded jerks just bent it in ways that I won't describe in detail right now. It's seen a worse, believe me. Never mind that. I am great at King Bowser, and I demand to be set free and unfolded. Okay, I guess that sounds like a plan. Now, Mario, ignore your floating friend and get me down from here. Bowser commands you. I don't think Bowser commands me. I think Bowser. I think Mario commands you. I would do the same for you. You need me as much as I need you. Admit it. That is true. Bowser needs Mario and Mario needs Bowser. It makes sense. Plus, I can tell you a secret after you free me. No one can resist a good secret. Bah ha ha ha. Alright, sounds like a plan. Yeah, okay, I get it, Bowser. But, like, I want to get these coins. But I guess, okay. Come on, I know we had our differences. But you got to help me out here. <laughs> okay, I guess we'll help him out first. And then hopefully we can get those crates. Come on, come on. There we go. There goes Bowser. Damn, he's been folded up into just a face, which sucks. Are we going to unfold him? All right. Oh, kind of thought I just unfold or something. Bah, no matter. Now as for... Ugh. Now as for the, that secret I promised to tell you, there's a hidden exit in this room. I've heard those jerks talk about it. Lousily, no good bo um, body folding jerks. Now hurry and find it, and uh, and I'll let you bring me along with a you when you escape. All right, I think the escape is this way, right? Maybe. Yeah, it is. Okay, so now that we have this ability, we could use the hands, right? Uh, how do we know if we're getting close? Oh, okay, never mind. I think I hit my what's it called? What the heck? This thing is so wonky. I wish I could turn off motion controls. Oh, what the heck? What the heck? Okay. Um, actually, is there options that I can use? Because I don't want to use motion controls for sure. Um, uh, motion controls, there we go. I don't want them on for sure because they're super annoying. Uh, can I turn it off? There we go, okay. So now that I have that turned off, I could do this, I think. Okay, now I grab it, and there we go. Okay. Wait, I don't get it. Move it to the left, right? There we go. Okay, that was so weird. I, I honestly, I don't know what happened. See, bahaha. Where would you be without me? Um, we would uh, be trying to escape without you. You're really getting the hang of those a hundred, a thousand folded arms, Mario. Alright, so now that we have that done, we could escape this castle and all of, uh, all the shapes and, uh, things happening. So let us press the saving, uh, button. Uh, save complete. Save complete, huh? Guess that means your adventure up to this point has been saved. Phew! Let's make a habit of saving every time we see another one of these shiny blocks, okay? Oh, and, uh, you'll find all sorts of helpful stuff if you open the menu with uh, the D-pad. If you want to try out some other option uh, or need some help, check the... Uh, settings section of the menu okay sounds like a plan all right let me just save another time just to make sure and there we go we saved and uh, that should be good and now let us escape hopefully we can escape oh we're going to the tippity top of the castle and hopefully we don't get caught now, i like how bowser's right behind us and he's just a face hey slow down we're sorry i'm walking with my face here <laughs> sounds like a new yorker nobody makes bowser i mean obviously they did but but they're not gonna get away with it. Yep, you're right, Bowser. We're gonna help. Uh, we're gonna work together, and we're gonna what's it called? Help this kingdom out, and help Princess Peach out. All right, we made it out. So can we just jump out, or do we have to like find another way to escape? Oh, the door's open. That doesn't sound good, and it's dark. Oh, that isn't good. It's a shy guy and Princess Peach. Why are you still so flat? Why haven't you joined me in folded glory? Come, we can reshape you. Patience, princess. This will do just fine. So, you're Mario, Princess Peach's hero, right? 
Yes, you'll do quite well. Very crisp, bright colors. I can see it now. So what do you say? Will you volunteer your paper, uh, paper body to uh, to the cause? Yeah, I think that's a no. Or will you, or will we have to uh, get Crumpley and join us? Yes or no? Let's just say no because I don't think that's a good idea. Ah, I expected nothing less. And to be honest, I wouldn't have it any other way. But who are you? Take a good long look at Princess Peach. She's better this way, don't you think? No need to answer. You'll soon feel the power of origami for yourself. That doesn't sound good. Fold this soldier, come forth! Oh no, Shy Guys Goombas? <gasps> that Goomba looks amazing. I've never seen a Fold this soldier like that, Mario. Does it look like one of your flat paper friends? Yeah, it looks like a Goomba. Dot dot dot. I never got to see Toad. <gasps> This was the Goomba that was in the cell. No. Prepare to be folded. Oh, snap. Okay, wave battle. All right, so we're going to get into our first battle, which is a pretty sick. So this combat system is very different to uh, early on Mar Paper Mario games and, and different from Sticker Star and Color Splash. Oh, no. I'm guessing this is your first time facing folded soldiers, Mario. Once these flat paper folks have been turned into folder folded soldiers we can't turn them back and see it seems cruel to fight them but if we don't they'll try to fold you into origami too i'll help you attack but my tiny arms don't pack much of a punch i don't want to get in your way all right thank you i appreciate it so i'll cheer you on but you'll have to do the heavy lifting yourself like usual sounds like a plan oh and what is this line them up all right and hey, did you catch that first message? It said something about a wave battle. Are we in some kind of splash zone? I guess we'll worry about that when we get to it. Let's just focus on these enemies for now, Mario. Speaking of, you're surrounded by four folded soldiers, huh? Where did the other three come from? That's my question. If, they're, if they all attack at once, you'll get a real pummeling. This looks rough. Hey, I just had a great idea. If you line all four of them up, you could jump your way down the row in one attack. Bop, 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 bip, bam. Alright, so let us do that. So we gotta line the guy on the side. Luckily for us, these rings will let us move the enemies around the group and group them together, excuse me. So use the L to stick which ring you want to move and then press to confirm your choice. Alright, sounds like a plan. There's just one nasty, not nasty, naughty Goomba out of place right now. Let's try and get it over to that empty slot. Okay, so now let us do that. So we got to move this guy. Now use the L to rotate the ring. Once the Goomba is lined up with the others, press A to finish. Okay, and there we go. Perfect. Great lineup. Attack power up. Yeah, there we go. You lined up all four Goombas. All right, sounds like a plan. When you group your enemies into a successful lineup like this, your attack power increases by 1.5. That means your attack power will be preciously... Oh, oh gosh, I forgot how to multiply by point. Um, oh, whatever, you can, you get what I mean. Your attacks will do more damage. Yep, that's pretty much uh, self-exploratory. So, keep lining those up those enemies, okay? Okay, now we can uh, flatten uh, these Goombas with a, a jump attack. Select your pair of boots and using L, then press A to begin your attack. Okay, let's press the boots. Let's start battling. Mario's turn. Alright, boom, 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 uh, boom, and there we go. Literally all excellence, and there we go. We defeated all the enemies. Wow, those world-famous Mario jumps don't disappoint. <laughs> you took out all four Goombas with a single jump attack. Yeah, we did. See what I mean? Lining up your enemies is totally worth the effort. Last wave. Oh, we got more? Shy guys. Okay. Ah, more folded soldiers. I guess some battles are gonna have enemies attacking in waves. Oh, I guess that's why must be why this was called a wave battle up front. Oh, makes sense. If you see the last wave pop out, that must mean you're on the last group. Hang on. Hang tough, Mario. These guys are lined up a little differently, so show me your hammer attack next. Alright. Line them up. Alright. Your hammer will hit a shorter, wider area with one powerful blow. Okay. So now we gotta move those shy guys to the side of the shy guys. Those spaces marked with circles are showing up, uh, showing you where your hammer attacks will land. 
It would be great if you could get all four folded soldiers onto those spaces. Let's give it a try. Same as before. Select a ring without using L, then press A to confirm. Alright, so now let's press that. Move these guys all around town. And there we go. And now you did it. Now they're all in hammer range. And they're lined up perfectly, so your attack power went up by 1.5. And uh, I'll uh, let you do the math. Yeah, I'm not good with math, so we're not going to do that. Time to swing that hammer of yours. Use L to select your hammer, then press A to start attacking. Alright, let's press the hammer, and there we go. Okay, so let me use the hammer. There we go, we did a great. Not an excellent, but it was a great, so I have to get used to it. Did you see that? Blop! Ha! Huh? What a satisfying attack. Fast, flashy, and flattering, but only if you arrange your enemies into a successful lineup. Jump attacks and hammer attacks both have their own ideal lineups. Always think carefully about how your enemies are lined up before you attack. Okay, okay. And there we go. Damn, we're rich. We got a lot of coins. Damn. We got a total of 492 coins from just the one battle. Imagine. And there we go. What do you have now? So you defeated the first Goomba. Bravo. I assure you, it is a far from the deadliest creature in this realm. That is true. Goombas are, uh, let's just say, bottom tier. I suppose there's no point in maintaining the charade any longer. The charade any longer. Uh, what are you, a flying Goomba, uh, shy guy? This man. Oh snap! Who are you? You look like a uh, brother. Oh, they know each other, Olivia and the other guy. No, it can't be. I didn't want you to believe it could be you. How many times did I tell you to stop? Please, you have to stop now. Why couldn't Mario have simply left you in that wall where I put you? Damn, the betrayal. Sister, if you stand in the way of my ambition, I'm afraid you will not share in my f glory as a family. Oh, and by the way, I am no longer your brother, Ollie. I am King Ollie. And that's why it's called Paper Mario the Origami King. By the time I'm done, all of those miserable toads will be folded. The flim flimsy paper minions of Bowser shall be reborn as loyal folded soldiers serving me. And I shall fold, crease, and bend the entire paper world to my whim. The birth of a new Origami King. Dumb. Okay, this is the main bad guy. I think we found out who the main bad guy. Oh snap, what is this? Oh, those are ribbons. Different kind of ribbons. How many ribbons are there? Oh, he's surrounding the castle with ribbons so people can't access. My question is, where is Luigi? Luigi, we haven't seen him for a long time and I'm kind of scared. Oh no, are we going to be trapped in here? What is that? Oh, it's a Goomba car. All right, I guess that's our way to escape. Come on, guys. Let's get out of here. This cutscene looks amazing. Not gonna lie. The colors and, like, the animations are amazing on this game so far. And there we go. Let's get the heck out of here. Why are you guys going back? Oh, snap. It's been surrounded by ribbon. That isn't good at all. Oh, now it's being lifted up. It's about to do a Mario Galaxy style. <laughs> Oh no, where is it going? And there are our main heroes. What is that? <gasps> is Luigi dead? There's no way Luigi's dead, right? His hat is still there, right? He's not dead. I swear, if they kill off Luigi, I'm honestly turning off this game. Oh, F4. <gasps> Uh-oh, we've been separated. I like how the shy guy goes after Bowser and not Mario. Makes sense. Well, it actually does because it's his minion, so obviously the minions will go after Bowser. But holy cow, so now we figured out where the castle is, and I don't think it's going to be an easy journey. It's on top of a huge hill. Alright, so now that we have that done, uh, saving. Where did we land? That's my question. Oh, where did we land exactly? Oh, we landed in the tree. Alright, that's, uh, I guess, a perfect way to start things. Alright, how do I get out? Do I press the buttons? Yeah, I do. And there we go. We are out. That is amazing. And we are out of a Princess Peach's castle and we escaped King Ollie. And now we are lost in this huge forest, but I am gonna end it off here, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to smash that like button below for more of Paper Mario the Origami King on the channel. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace out, Jorge.